What's up guys? Welcome back to FIFA 21. Welcome back to the Nottingham Forest career mode. We are 11 games in now to the Premier League season. You can see Man City on top on 30 points. Sitting pretty. 7 points clear of the rest of the pack. Now in second, we, Nottingham Forest, are second in the Premier League. And our returning season in the division. 23 points for us. And Chelsea, and you can see as well, Liverpool on 22, Newcastle on 22, as well as Man United on 19. So it's very top, that tight six. One or two results that don't go our way, we could drop down from second to sixth, just like that. So what we need to do in this episode is get results. And it's going to be tough against some very tough opponents. Yet again, Marshall, top of the goal scoring charts, 10 goals, two above Sterling. Today, this is what we're taking on. Southampton at home, Chelsea away, Arsenal at home, and then Leicester away. Four huge games in November, and then the next episode will be heading into a jam-packed December schedule. But we can't look too far ahead. Let's concentrate on this month. Some mega games coming in for you. It all starts against Southampton at the Nottingham Forest Stadium. The team will be as follows. Marshall, Brecolo, Paulinho, Wilson, Yates and Chowdhury with Ribeiro, Toroniga, Worrell, Cash in the back and Samba in goal. Let's do it then, guys. It's Southampton, the visitors. Gineppo now. Southampton have been a better team so far. We're struggling at the minute. We are really struggling. Morrill does well, though. Chowdhury now going to drive us up in that midfield. Well done, Hamza Chowdhury. It's a good ball, that. Really good ball into Wilson. We're going to just slide that into the feet of Paulinho. Save! Massive save. Well done, Wilson. Great turn again. We may have another chance here. Oh, referee! He has a decision to make, and he's made it. It's a penalty, and that's Eric Dyer. Southampton's own Eric Dyer lunges in. Let's have a look at that back. Yeah, he may have got the ball, but he's clipped the man as well. He's absolutely gone through the man at the same time. Five, six, seven years ago, it may have just been a tackle, but now it's a penalty. Okay, Marshall steps up. Classically, we're not great at penalties, so we're going to try this one with Marshall. Let's try and put it into... Oh, that's a bit higher. Oh, he slams it home. I was a bit nervous with that one when I saw the aim bar. But I shouldn't have been. Jacob Marshall was over the ball, on the penalty spot, and he scores. 11th of the season for him. He is a Nottingham Forest fan favourite. He's excellent. Number nine. JM nine. Now, guys, it's all about holding on to this. We're one nil up. We need to hold the lead. Thirty minutes played. They've been the better team, but we're winning the game. Oh, intercepted well there from Yates. We could actually pay for this. Here we go. Go on, Marshall. Marshall's away. He needs Spacer to get onto his stronger foot. He's had it. Marshall saves it. It's clear off the line. I want to show you guys something. I checked this earlier, and I couldn't believe my eyes. So this is Jacob Marshall, right? Five star, five star. Okay. We'll look at this as well. His composure is 84. Very good. Sprint speed 77. That's decent. Good stamina 82. Look at this. Finishing 96. 96 finishing. And shot power 95. It is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. No wonder he's such a finisher. Jacob Marshall, ladies and gentlemen, is a natural goal scorer. Chowdhury. Boateng. Oh, it's a good overlap from Ribeiro. He's going to go for it. Why not? Ribeiro! Steps up when it means the most. He has been outstanding for us. What a player. An absolute baller and I have to say in real life I know Forest fans love Ribeiro he's a great left back and I'll tell you what if they come up to the Premier League he's in for a shout with staying with me he's a hell of a player great hit straight across the keeper and I'm sure now that probably does bury the game 70 minutes played his first goal this season it's now Nottingham Forest 2 Southampton 0 into Marshall who is about to come off, actually. Marshall is going to come off. And we're going to bring on Balogun. But Marshall! About to come off. But gets his second of the game. That's his party piece. 
just to say thank you and goodbye. Ball in the box. Is it ever in doubt that head up? Low, hard, driven. He's the complete striker. He is the complete striker. No keeper saving that. It's well, well directed. I feel bad because he's on a hat-trick now, but we'll have to do the brace today. He's going to come off 12 Prem goals. There he goes, our lad. And Balogun comes on for him. Just, what, 14 minutes left? Fleck to Sims. Well done, Toronigo. We needed that tackle. It was, it was in behind. Gibbs White looks for Balogun. Off he goes. Okay, Florian Balogun now scores! That's a free agent. That's the free agent, Florian Balogun. Once of Arsenal, now of Forest. He scores, and that's four. The first half was pretty bang average. It was quite boring. We, we was 1-0 up because of the penalty. The second half, we have blitzed them in the final 20 or 30 minutes. It has been excellent from us. We may have lost against Palace at the end of the last episode, but boys, we're back with a big win. 4-0. Beautiful, beautiful 4-0 win to get us back on the winning track. Southampton offered a lot more than us, to be fair, for a majority of this game, possession-wise, creation-wise, but we win 4-0. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? We'll take the win. Hassan Hooter will be very upset, but I'm absolutely delighted. Here we go then, guys. You can see warming up Timo Werner. Three in his last three. So he's in a hot vein of form right now for Chelsea. We've got some hot players right now as well. Jacob Marshall will be coming here full of confidence. We're at Stamford Bridge for this one. I back our boys to get the result today. Just one change then. We need to control position a little bit better. So the experience of Cesc Fabregas has come in for Chowdhury. Chelsea, they know all about Fabregas, don't they? Reckolo to Marshall. Okay, Yates found himself out wide for some reason. He's not got much pace. We're going to knock that into Bracarlo now. He's in the box. Can he make anything happen? He's lost out again. He's lost out again. Werner. It's up Costa now. Bursting down that side. A lot of pace for Chelsea on their overlapping wing backs. Carrera. It's turned me. Smashes it. Big save from Samba. Okay, it's taken 18 minutes to get a real opportunity going for Chelsea. But they did nearly score from that. So, great strike from Carrera. It's probably actually going to go wide. But, no need to take the risk from Samba. Short corner then for Chelsea. Kovacic, Carrera. I'll get the ball off of Carrera. He's got hell of a drip. PK in there. Thiago Silva. Kovacic! Samba saves! Not strong enough. Bounces straight back into the path of Kovacic. And he puts Chelsea 1-0 up after 21 minutes. They've made some very, very big signings already, haven't they? Carrera, PK. Okay. Really, it's not great defending and marking from us, is it? It's not the best of saves. Simple. 21 minutes gone then. We find ourselves 1-0 down. And really, we had a big chance with Bricarlo. And yet again, he's missed it. Go. Into Paulinho. Reverse ball into Bricarlo. Now, can he... Oh! Another save. He can't find the back of the net, can he, Bricarlo? I feel bad for the guy. May have to have a few words with him because I paid a decent fee for him. He's not hitting expectations. Maybe it's time we call a meeting. Chelsea could be away with it because we've just not turned up. We're just lucky that they haven't really turned up. Half time then, it's 1 0 Chelsea. Now, I know Brecklow's getting involved in the game. He's making some good runs, but nothing's coming off for him. And he's, I don't know, it's just not clicking. We're going to need to call a meeting with him and his representatives. He seems a bit unsettled at the minute. I think we're going to take him off at half-time, guys. So, let's have a look at doing that. We've got a couple of options. I think I know what I would like to do. Brecklow will come off. He's probably not going to be happy about that. He'll be off. Boateng will come on for him out on that left-hand side. Let's see if that can help us turn this game around. Oh my god, Ribeiro tried to header it back. He's not made it. It's not going well for us today at Stamford Bridge. 
That's a massive error that could be the difference between Champions League and Europa League football for next season. Bad header back. Werner catches on to it. Toronega can't stop him. Werner dispatches excellently. It's just not clicking for us. We're lucky in the last game saying that we won 4 0. It's incredible, but today. No, something's been off. Fabregas is going to come off then. Not really worked. Gibbs White come on. I don't fancy going too defensive with Chowdhury. So Gibbs White will come on. We're 2-0 down now. We need a goal. Oh, God. We're going to get counter-attacked again. Carrera into Werner. We're not looking good here. This is not looking good here. Oh, goodness me. Worrell's absolutely clanked in one. Is this going to be a red? Is this going to be a red? I didn't even get a booking. Oh, my God. This referee's having a shitter. Wow. We've got away with that one, boys. I thought he was going to be off there. He's just completely cleaned him out. Kovacic comes off. He's had a really good game. We've got one more change in our locker. We're going to have to make it because just it's not working for us. We're going to go and put Marshall as a left striker. Put Paulinho um, and take him off for Balogun and just move him up. He'll be a right striker. We're going to go for a 4-4-2. We're going to have to try something different because this is not working for us. Let's defend this free kick then. We do not want to go 3-0 down. And that will be game over. Cleared by Balogun. Getting torn apart at the minute by Carrera. He's been absolutely ripping me to bits. Oh, I've cleaned him out. Havertz is in. They've scored again. Well, that is real quality, isn't it? That's the difference. This now is showing the gap. Maybe we get ahead of ourselves. We've had a good season so far, but yeah, as for, as Havertz is saying, calm down. Okay. This is an eye-opener. We can't get too ahead of ourselves. Yes, we're a very good footballing team. We are a good team. We're not a great team. Chelsea are a great team. They've got some hell of players. Wow. Okay. 72 minutes gone. 3-0 down. Oh, my God. They're in behind again. No way. Werner now. Smashes it. Big save from Samba. This could end up 4 or 5. Oh, my God. We're getting torn apart. Absolutely torn apart. Quadrado comes on. Oh, my word. Oh, the referee has saved us. More embarrassment. Full time, then. Chelsea 3, Forest nil. Not the performance I was wanting. And we're going to need to rethink a few things. Let's get into that now. Okay, guys. Massive news. Now, we sat down with the representatives of Bricarlo. We had a thorough discussion with him and his agent. He has said, we've just joined in the summer, just literally four months ago. He is unsettled. He misses his home. He misses his family. He wants out of Nottingham Forest. He's not comfortable playing for us anymore. He's going to fly home immediately, immediately to his family. And he has requested a full transfer. Now, that has thrown a massive spanner in the works. So, Botang is gone to left wing while he's still being trained in that position. Amiobi is now on the bench. And as you can see, Brekolo is now completely left out into the reserves. He is not available. He has returned home and he's requested an immediate transfer listing. So, we're going to accept his wishes. Much to our dismay, our demand, he's been completely exiled now. After what he said, removed from any kind of group conversations, any team talks. He is out of the picking, basically, for the rest of the season now. So he's going to be added to the loan list. We're going to have to loan him out before we can sell him. So what we'll do is we'll have to loan him out, potentially with an option. We'll see what comes in for him. We're going to need to make a decision what we're going to do out wide. Because having Boateng and Amiobi isn't going to be strong enough. We're going to need to think what we're going to do. So Brekolo wanting out of the club. In being docked, wages, fined as well by us, the FA and the Premier League. We need to go in quickly and sort something out. So, with our Youth Academy, I'm going to show you this. It is looking incredible to me. Look at all these potential beasts we could bring through into our first team in the coming seasons. Now, the guy we're going to bring through now is this guy. Telis Papadakis. He is a Greek international. Now, the Nottingham Forest owners are Greek, so... We've gone out to Greece, we've been scouting, and we've found this guy. 
Telis Papadakis. Now, naturally, he's a right winger. However, we're going to play him on the left wing. He's right-footed, and he's got a potential of 77 to 94. He's 65 rated, and he's 17 years of age. Let's promote him to the senior team, and he's going to be on the bench for the Arsenal game. Okay then, boys, we need a reaction today. We need a reaction today, and it's not going to be an easy one because it's against Arsenal. You can see as well, they've got Milik up front nowadays. So, Arsenal are coming to Nottingham Forest Stadium in a massive clash in this division. After the big news about Brekelo, just four months after signing, down-tooling the way he has, is a massive blow for the team. However... A young kid we've been scouting for a while has been brought in, promoted to the first team from our youth academy, Papa Dakis. He's on the bench. Could he make his debut? The Greek international. We'll see. Ciao, Greek. Towards Cash. Into Paulinho. Going to pull that back for Yates. That's the stop we needed here today at home. 1-0 up. Inside the 15 minutes against Arsenal. Brilliant start and it needed a man like our captain Yates to step up and score it. Really good play by us. Pull back from Paulinho. Look at this. Nice. Pull away David Luiz as always. Bang. Get in there. Mwah. We needed that. Come on Forrest. First goal of the season for Ryan Yates. We lead Arsenal then 1-0. Fingers crossed we win this game. Wilson. Nice lad. Nice into Paulinho. Put it across for Marshall to tap it home. That's 2 0. Boom. We needed this. We really needed this result today. After a big loss against Chelsea. That man is back. Jacob Marshall's back. Paulinho's back. He's making them runs again. We've got rid. It seems of the player who's trying to down tool and trying to potentially get us out of the job, Brekelo. He costs us a lot of money in the summer and he's already proven to be a, well, a handful, but not on the pitch, off the pitch. So long, so long. If you leave on loan and we sell you later on, it's fine by me. I care about the team, not individuals. Oh dear, Martinelli's a danger man, into Milik, back to Martinelli, come on, yes, Toraniga, big tackle, massive tackle potentially, oh, is the Marshall on side, no, he's off, oh, oh, he's in there for a potential third, he went too early, didn't he, yep, he's gone way too early there, he could have held his run, he could have held his run, okay guys, we should be, we are at half, time. 2-0 to the good. I'm happy with that. We're 2-0 up against Arsenal at half-time after a massive loss in the last one against Chelsea. We'll take that half-time. Second half next. Paulinho around the corner for yes. Marshall! I thought it was Jakes. It was Marshall. Thank God it was Marshall because that is free. Surely now we're home and dry, 3-0 up. Beautiful play between Paulinho and Marshall again. I thought it was Yates, and I thought he was going to get caught as soon as I realised it was Marshall. I knew it was game over for that Arsenal back line. Leno had no chance. 60 minutes then played, 14th in the league, and it's Forest 3, Arsenal 0. There we go then, boys. Full time. Forest 3, Arsenal 0. What a way to bounce back after a humiliating defeat against Chelsea to smash Arsenal like we have in front of our home fans. Confidence is back high. And top four is back on. Okay, guys. Here we go, then. We have had an offer in for a two-year loan from RB Leipzig. We're not looking for two years. We want to get him out on loan for the rest of the season, really. And then sell him because he's worth around 20 to 25 million. So we'll propose a short term loan for Leipzig. They're happy with that. They are happy with a short term loan. They want to split it 60 40. I would rather we split it 45 55. You're getting the player. We're not. They want to go 50 50. I'm going to take 50 50. Split it 50 50. Get Brickelow out of our minds, out of our squad. When he comes back at the end of the season, 
he will certainly be sold. Another transfer offer then for a player we wasn't thinking about selling, but probably makes sense. 31, Lyle Taylor. Best years behind him. He's decreasing in stats, value and everything. Now it's Fluminese from the Brazilian division coming in for him. Be a good move for him to be fair. 1.8 mil. We'll accept that. Hopefully Lyle Taylor can negotiate a good contract for him. Alright then lads. Final game of today's episode is Leicester. If we can win today, we will stay in the top four. If we lose this game or draw it, we could potentially drop out depending on results. Now there is a big debut in this one. That's right. We've gone for it. We have brought him into the team. Papadakis is making his debut on the left. Yates. Paulinho. Nice. Wilson is in behind. Wilson scores. Brilliant move. What a run from Wilson. An expert finish. We are now 1-0 up. Thanks to him. Let's watch that again. That was a really good move. He's on the ball here. Bullying by Paulinho. Brilliant finish as well. What a run that was from Wilson. Love that, son. Six goals in the Prem. 20 minutes gone. 1-0. Yates as well. Chowdhury. They're not even trying to close me down. They're just happy sitting men behind the ball. I don't know what Leicester are playing at. They're at home. They're at home, lads. Maybe a 1-2 here. Nice. Papadakis for a debut goal! Okay, now he's arrived. Brickolo, Brickolo, who? Yeah, remember the name. We've got a new man, Papa Dakis. Now that's the kind of debut I like. Leicester sat back very deep. Not much pressure. You can't play football like that. We're going to hurt you with players we've got. And Papa Dakis is just the newest of the youth academy. Leicester now going to have to come out their shell in the second half. And that just means more counter-attacks for us, which we love to do. Papadakis now. He's been excellent. I can't believe it. He's just like Marshall. It feels like we've got another Marshall, lads. I love shooting with him as well. Into Chowdhury. There we go. Half-time. First 45 has all been about Papadakis. Wilson trying to track him. He's so fast. Oh, Barnes has turned me there. Barnes in behind, using his pace. Harvey Barnes now, bearing down on goal. Good save there from Sambury. Need to push that away. I don't know if that was a shot or a cross. Either way, had to clear that. Dangerous attack there from Leicester. Remember, it's only 2-0. The next goal either kills it in our favour or gets them back in it. Yates, go on. Botang's in. He's got to finish this this time. Come on! Boom! That is it now. That is it. 3-0. Lovely stuff. That's a proper finish from Botang. Back up front today off the bench for Marshall, who's very tired. Hopefully he'll be okay for the next one. It's a great finish, though. Look at this. Absolutely hammered that. Drilled. Drilled. That's it then, guys. 3-0. 67 minutes. I'd say we've won this one. Oh, it's a good ball from Telia, man. He's in behind here. Is this Larson? Larson into Perez. Oh, it's off the post. Big chance. He's got to finish that. Tried to bend it. He's bent away. It's a weird, weird strike. Off the outside of the post. It's not gone well for Leicester today, has it, lads? Good tackle. There we go, then, boys. Full time. 3 0. Some good wins then to finalise the episode. Let's kick it back. We'll recap the episode. See what's going down. And see what's coming up. Okay then guys. So we kicked this episode off with a scorching win. To get back to winning ways. 4-0 against Southampton. Then. We absolutely put in a terrible performance against Chelsea. At Stamford Bridge. Losing 3-0. We bounce back with a 3-0 win against Arsenal at home. And then away at the King Power, another 3-0 win against Leicester. That's three wins, one loss then in four games for November. But you know what the next month is? December. The massive calendar month that can really shape your season. It can change it in an instant. One month can change it. We have Bournemouth, City, 
Brentford, Spurs, Leeds, and then Burnley. We can't look at January at the moment. We need to do some business in January, but we need to first look at the games in December because this could seriously shape our season. Now, also in this episode, Brickolo wasn't performing well. We called a meeting and he threw his tools in the pram. He left the club, not actually transferred away. He actually walked away from the club, flew home, said he's not coming back. He wants to be put on the loan list immediately. We have accepted a loan deal potentially to go through uh, for the rest of the season with RB Leipzig. We're waiting to hear back from that, so I'll update you that on the next episode. And if that does go through, he will be leaving on loan, coming back to the club at the end of the season and sold for probably around 20 million or so. So that's going to be a budget increase for us for next season. But this season, we've had to promote a young lad in the name of Papa Dakis. He scored on his debut. Could be another Marshall Youth Academy prospect. England, Greece, we find them all around the world. This guy, he could be special. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Smash the like button if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. Comment below what you think. What do you think then about Brekelo? How could he do that after spending such a big amount of money on him to down tool like that? That's a shocker from me. Papadakis, is he going to make it work it? We'll see. Guys, until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.